Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. Okay, so I am on netlify.com and I'd like you to go to that site. And um, what we're going to do is let's create, so what you're going to do is you would go to login and actually you would go to sign up, sorry. We need to sign you up for a site. So go to sign up and go ahead and take all the steps that you would need to to do to sign up and then once you're there we're gonna we're gonna log in so I'm gonna go ahead and just log in myself and then we'll start all right so what I did is I just tested um, a new site on Netlify so uh, you just put in your email and a password and everything then you're gonna have to verify your email and then once you get in, they're going to have a pop-up that comes up that says um, quick start and it's going to say next. And then when you click on that, you're going to get to this, this, this page. So you're at your sites and you're going to see an icon, uh, a button here that says new site from Git. So if you click on that, um, you're going to need to decide you want it to, to come from GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket. So since we started with GitHub, we would click on GitHub and then it's going to just prompt you to, um, it's going to prompt you to um, in, input your username. So I already did that a long time ago, so it's just popping up on my username already. Okay, so um, you'll just have to follow the prompts until you can connect your GitHub to this site. So go ahead and do that, pause the video and do that, and then we'll come right back. Okay, so once you have connected your GitHub to um, Netlify, then when you hit new site from Git, um, and you click on GitHub, it should pop up your repos that are already there. Okay, so let's see. Here's the one that I want to work on. This is the demonstration repo that we created. So I have a whole bunch of them, obviously, but you'll just probably have just the one because you only have the one that we put on Git on GitHub. So hopefully you can find it and then just click on it. Okay, so here, once you get to this um, page, you it shows you what your owner that you're the owner. You're going to make a master your the branch that we're going to deploy is the master so that's default and basic build settings we are just going to leave it as as it comes so build command and publish directory and then all we're going to do is hit deploy site and that should be it okay here we are so we um, they, they give you a funny little name for your um, for your site so youthful bark tick is mine on this one all right and if we click on this link it it is live it is deployed that's it that's all there is to it so i'm just going to click on it we're going to go to our website and it's already deployed on the internet this is so cool um so we can go to the about page we can go to the contact page and check and make sure everything's deployed correctly okay so what we're going to do now is talk about how we can get those the contact form to work and also how to change it to our own um, domain okay so what you would do is let's let's click on site settings let's see what that says all right so it just gives you your general information about your site you can change the site name if you want to um, Let's see, you can delete the site if you need to. So what we're going to do is, if we go to domain management, then we can talk about how to get a domain name so you don't have this funny little um, you know, address. You can make it your own domain, all right? See, super easy. And then if you wanted to work on forms, we can go down here and click on forms. So let's go to domain management first. All right, so it says use your own domain for your Netlify site for free. Um, so you would just click on add custom domain. And you can bring a domain name that you already own or buy a new one. When you buy the domain with us, we automatically configure your DNS, DNS settings and provision a wildcard certificate for your domain. So that would be the easiest 
way to do it. So you would just put in your a domain name of your choice and they will check to see if it is available and you might have to change it a couple of times to make to find one that's available and then you would just click on verify and just work through their documentation to um, add it. If you use if you've bought a domain name from another um, DNS, a, DNS provider then you're gonna have to configure them um, there's some documentation on how to connect it here to net to you know have it point to Netlify it's really really easy it's and you can learn more in the docs so you can read about that it's pretty self-explanatory I can't remember all the steps I took when I did it but it wasn't hard at all okay so let's go back <clears throat> to the forms oh and the other thing you might you might want to do for your site is um, have some security with it. So you want an SSL certificate and what you would do is click on HTTPS and that's after you have your domain name um, they will um, it's just gonna be automatic. In fact if you get your domain name from them it's probably even easier. Um, so what you would do is just click on here um, and if you already have your domain set up it's gonna just again follow the prompts and you're gonna have an SSL security security certificate on your site and it's gonna look secure and professional alright so let's go check out the forms okay so here it says manage the forms and submissions without any server-side code or JavaScript um, so what you have to do it says code an HTML form into any page on your site add a Netlify attribute to the form tag and you'll receive submissions in your Netlify dashboard. HTML files are parsed directly at deploy time so there's no need for you to make an API call or include extra JavaScript on your site. Let's go up to the top and up here it says forms so let's go ahead and click on that and it's going to give us the instructions on how to add the form. Alright so what we have to do is we just have to add a line of code to our form contact page. All right, so it says code an HTML form into any page using the data Netlify equals true. So if you look down here, it's in the form tag, it says name equals contact, method post data Netlify equals true. So we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to copy all this information and let's copy it and let's go into our code and I'm going to start at um, the contact to page because that's the one I want to try first so if you look here um, here's my form tag so I, I have my class here because it's the materialize remember it's the materialize um, you know CSS so I'm just gonna click right here and just paste it in so form name equals contact method post true everything looks good the only thing I need to fix is that this page is called contact2.html so I'm gonna change this to contact2 because if you have more than one um, contact page it just has to match the name of the HTML okay so I'm gonna hit save and that is all we have to do except for one thing since we're using materialize the, the Netlify bots aren't gonna be able to read this because it's inside it has some JavaScript enabled if you remember that we enabled JavaScript um, there's a script tag at the bottom of this page this is the materialized JavaScript that's been um, enabled so it's not gonna work because of that so we have to add something so I was looking at the documentation let's see the documentation so I was looking at the documentation of troubleshooting and stuff and it said basically if you have a here I'll show you what it says because it was kind of cute it says Netify, Netlify comes with some handy features blah 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 you can add this the attribute true which is what we did it says in a react app however just adding the attribute won't work sad trombone very cute it's because we need to if you're using a static site generator um, and they're giving you Gatsby or React Static, it's not going to work because the processing bots that look for the attributes when a site is deployed only knows how to parse HTML. 
So until they evolve enough to detect forms rendered with JavaScript, we need to give them a little help. So since our contact form has JavaScript, we're going to have to add this little piece of code. And it's down here where it talks about add a static HTML version of the form to your site. So all we have to do is copy the part that says form name equals contact um, hidden. Well, no, that wasn't it. Where was it? I think this is it. Input type hidden name form name. That was it. Add a hidden form name field. So that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to add this whole thing. Let's copy it and let's put it in our code. And we're going to put it right underneath where we have the data, data Netlify true, right underneath that. Paste it in. And I think that's all we need. Okay, I'm going to hit save. Okay, so I'm going to hit save and now we have to go over here and we have to commit the changes. So let's stage them first. So I'm going to hit stage changes with my little plus. And so since we are using VS Code, they have an integrated Git um, situation here. So we can do everything here. We don't have to use the command line. We can, but we don't have to. So I just clicked on this little plus that says stage the changes and it tells me that I'd stage those changes. And now I'm going to put in a message of what we staged, what we're doing, what was the change. So the change is um, added uh, added form attribute and hidden uh, hidden hidden type we'll call it because see it was called the type is hidden hidden type input okay and now we're going to just commit it by clicking on this little quest little check mark and then after we do that, we're going to synchronize it and uh, synchronize it with GitHub. And that's down here. If we click on this, this will synchronize it, sending it to GitHub, and then GitHub automatically sends it to Netlify. All right, so now it should work. So let's go back to our, our contact page and see we are at, in our address. This is live, okay? And so we're going to test it. So I'm going to say test, and I'm going to say test at gmail.com, and I'm going to say test, and submit. There you go. Thank you. Your form submission has been received. Yay! We did it. All right. Now, if you want to also do it on the other contact page, so remember this one? <clears throat> this one's easier because it doesn't have, it's not using any JavaScript. So if we go back to our um, VS Code, we go to the original contact form. All we're going to have to do is add um, in the form name equals contact, method equals post, data Netlify equals true. That's all we have to do. Nothing else needs to be done. And then you hit save and commit it and refresh it and you know synchronize it with github and then it'll work as well on our site so let's go back and go to the, the this this contact me so let's just test it so we're going to say test now the email let's say test at gmail.com and then we have to do our phone number the exact way they want us to do it so let's say 555 555 dash 5555 and then we'll say this is another test and hit submit and it worked cool and that's all there is to it it's super easy so now let's go back to our site not the live site but let's just go back to um, our account and let's go check we're in our our little youthful Bartik thing and what you can do is check to see it tells you when you've deployed all the different deploys and it shows us all of our recent sub form submissions that we just did so that's cool and there's one more thing I want to show you if we go to site settings I think it is in uh, 
if you you you're going to want to be notified if somebody contacts you right on your contact page so where was that uh, maybe it's under let's look under forms here again submissions form notifications this is it so I went under I went to forms um, first I was in my overview area and then I went to forms and then there's this thing called form notifications so you can just add a notif notification and you can do an email notification a slack outgoing webhook it's just easy just to throw in your own email address here and it's gonna say new form submission email you put your email address in here and any form and then hit save and anytime anybody uh, sends you a, an email sends you a contact uses your contact form basically you're gonna get an email and that's really really nice so okay good job I hope this video was helpful and you learned a lot and we'll see you in the next one thanks everyone thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.